these courses have to be designed. So there was a task that I set myself that I'm going to design something. And this, this semester was really very special because there were going to be eight units on sustainability. And everybody's going to go off and do different things. And I said, this is fantastic. We can actually change the world. So this whole sustainability problem for me in, in this design thing, the proposition was, it's actually very simple. You go to the shop and you buy something. When you buy something, that thing that you bought some time ago was actually made. And when it was made, it caused a lot of pollution. And then after it got made, it got shipped to you, and then it used a lot of oil. So the act of buying is, 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 is the end point of something which has caused a tremendous amount of pollution. OK, let's stop the circulation of money. And if you stop the circulation of money, the world will be a better place. So how do you stop the circulation of money? You stop buying. So can we stop buying? I think so. So the thing was, in the group of 160 students, there must be some people. I mean, this thing would have fallen flat on its face, and nobody could have balloted for it. But 14 jokers actually balloted for it. And they said, I think we can give something up. And I said, yes. It was really, it was quite challenging, the initial give it up. Like, it was a little bit confusing. The first uh, class, like, we all left going, oh, my God. Rainer, one of the guys, he's, um, he still has to drive to get to work, but he won't drive down to the shops. And he won't, yeah. He'll, he'll ride his bike or on a walk or something like that. So it might not have completely given it up, but it has definitely made everyone really think about what they're doing. I gave up face care products and shampoo and conditioner and, <laughs> and, and that's been three months and like I, I only bought organic stuff before that anyway yeah. and like it was a big deal not washing my face and moisturising my face for the first two weeks I was like ah. but um, like I, I don't see any difference in using it and not using it and then I also stopped using my iPod yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a big thing because uh, I've always, like I had a discipline for about three years and then my iPod for two years and it was like this big, suddenly I'm really aware of everything around. Uh, $16 buys 48 trees. Okay. And so if I spent all the money that I would spend on just skincare products in a year, that's like close to 400 trees. So, you know, I could help buy a small forest or I could put cream on my face. And it's just looking at the way people consume and seeing that by just changing our habits slightly we can we can actually make a difference. It was weird um, approaching complete strangers because I sort of thought it'd be good to do a young family because they're sort of looking, you know into spending, spending obviously to set up their lifestyle. Um, but we tried to, we wrote a big questionnaire with quite personal questions on it, like how much they earn and assets and those kind of things. And when we did the interviews, we only interviewed the, the wife because um, it work, but it was also sort of easier just interviewing one person. Mitri had told us that usually women are much more free with that kind of information. Um, and I'm sure that's true because when we got the questionnaire back, they'd done it together and they filled out like one, one or two questions or something and skipped anything that was really personal. Spending habits, like, you know, I think it was an awareness thing, the first exercise. And then the second exercise was, um, you know, everyone has different ways of spending money and different things that they find important and you know different sections of society spend their money in different ways and so with, with our class going and having a look at the different families it was interesting because each of the families was had a very different way of spending money and so you know it's self-awareness and then you gain an awareness of how people in society people, are spending yeah, money yeah. and then we had to use that knowledge that we gained from the first two exercises to redevelop Monopoly. Before they can give it up, I need to know what are they buying, how are they buying, in what way, you know, what is their decision making. And then you go and study it. And at the end of it you come back and you say, no, I can't change them. They're too stuck in their ways. 
and it's it's a monstrous project to go to an Alfington family and say stop buying no that's not going <laughs> to work to go to an Armadale family and say stop buying not going to work to go to the Mont Albert mom and say mm. give up your car no way that's not going to work so then what do you do then you say okay let's forget these people they'll all grow up and die and then that habit will die what if we catch kids and design monopoly, design something so that they don't realize that actually they're picking up a whole new value system. So it's a plan to basically take over the whole world, <laughs> that you change the spending habits, yeah. but nobody realizes you're spending, changing spending habits because it's all done in such a subterfuge, mm. hidden sort of way. That was the design of the course. <laughs> but something happened. I think halfway through the course, they wouldn't stop talking about what they'd given up. <laughs> it was a one-week exercise, but I said, all right, let's get on to the next exercise. No, we're still talking about the same thing. So it sort of became a really exciting thing. And for me, the thing is that, can we take it to China? Can, can we take this little handout to China, give it to somebody with a little bit of the video film saying, why don't you guys run this course? Is it going to work? Take it to another city, take it to another place. And when we meet back here in 10 years' time, you renounce network, you give it up, <laughs> network is going to be massive. So we went from being a bit confused and going, yeah, love me because I'm giving this up, to, wow, look at the difference I can make by just giving this up. Oh, 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 oh. Let me be now, mm -hmm. let me be harsh. I won't be free now, oh, oh, free to see, yeah, wow. Well. Some won't be true for you and truth will lead you to a sense of heart.